So today we are going to make homemade scalloped potatoes. I was asked to share this recipe after you saw them in my Meal Mondays vlog. Here's everything that you're gonna need. You're gonna need butter or margarine, flour. You're gonna need a little bit of cayenne pepper or red pepper, whichever you wanna call it. You can use paprika, but I don't have paprika, so I always just use chili powder. You're gonna need some milk. You're going to need about two cups of sharp cheddar cheese grated and then you're going to need about four cups of sliced potatoes first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to peel these and then i'm going to slice them in scallop potato form um, and make sure that i have four cups worth and it's all going to fit into here in the nine by nine pyrex baking dish this makes quite a bit this makes enough for probably four to six adults i wanted to show you how thin i make my potatoes so that's a that's about as thick as I will make these potatoes because you don't want to burn the top of your cheese and you also don't want to dive into your potatoes and realize that they were undercooked. So make sure you're keeping them pretty thin when you are slicing them to fit into your measuring cup. And a preheat your oven to 350. Oil or grease your pan. I just use my margarine and kind of you want to go up the sides and around the corners and down at the bottom. Your pan greased. You're going to layer your potatoes and just keep doing that until you have all four cups of sliced potatoes. And I like to try to keep it so there's no, you know, little holes popping through. You just want to keep layering until you've got your pan, your pan covered. Okay, so there it is. Another thing that I really want to stress is that you keep your layers even or as even as you possibly can. I know it's a little hard with potatoes, but you don't want one side to be higher than the other. Try to keep it as even. In a pan, you're gonna put this on about medium heat and you are going to melt in three tablespoons of your butter or your margarine. Once you have your butter all melted, what you're gonna do is quickly add in three tablespoons of flour. Then you wanna whisk that in and you're gonna get this like comfy texture. Don't worry, that is completely normal. It's gonna be like this paste here. Okay? Then you're gonna kind of let that sit for a little bit. Put that to the side and get your milk ready. Put that back on the, the burner. You put in your one and a half cups of milk and you stir this until you have no more clumps. You basically just want to make a smooth consistency here and no clumps with your flour butter mixture. So you're going to turn up your heat a bit. You're going to get this boiling and smooth out your clumps. Okay, once you have that all mixed up, what you're going to do is take your cayenne pepper and do a dash of it, you don't need a lot. You can do salt if you want to. Um, I don't personally like to add additional salt to it, but if you're gonna do salt, it is a teaspoon of salt. Um, I just don't like to add the extra salt, so I don't. Especially if you're using salted butter, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Your heat and you're gonna add in your one cup of cheddar cheese that is, sharp cheddar cheese that is grated and you're gonna just stir that in until your cheese is melted once you have your cheese melted and blended in perfectly what you're going to do is just dump your cheese just kidding. all down and around you want to make sure that you're getting every single spot and then what I like to do is just take my whisk and get all the extra little cheese out of there. Cheese sauce. Okay. And then I kind of just do this, shake my pan a little bit to kind of get everything to settle in and get everything submerged in the cheese sauce. Usually about half a cup to a cup of cheese. It depends really how cheesy you like your scalloped potatoes. And you're just going to layer that here on the top of your scallop potatoes. So that's why I said just make sure you have two cups because it really just depends, you know, especially if you just eyeball it like I did. And then the last thing that you're going to do is take your paprika or your chili powder if you don't have any. 
um, whichever, and then just kind of sprinkle on top. You don't want to do a whole lot. This just kind of adds a little flavor and color to the top when your cheese melts. Once your oven is preheated, what you're going to do is throw these in the oven uncovered for an hour. And after that, you're going to pull them out and they'll be nice, bubbly, and yummy. And then you're going to want to let them sit for a little bit before you start digging into them. I usually let mine sit about 5-10 minutes just to kind of let everything settle down. But that's it guys, that's all you do. I will show you the end result. And there is what it looks like as soon as it comes out. And this is exactly why I let it sit because it's still pretty bubbly. Um, and if you want your cheese to thicken up a little bit and you don't burn your mouth, <laughs> let this sit for like a good 10 minutes before you start dishing them out onto plates.